Any good model development process requires validation procedures. The first validation procedure we did was validation of a holdout sample. Nolan gives us the details. Yeah, so one of the, um, the activities we have to be aware of when we're developing a model is, is not to overfit it to the, the training data. And um, the reason for that is we may develop a really refined model that works with uh, a, that subset of data, but when we expose it uh, to the larger data set, it's been overfit um, to just be able to identify the, uh, the trends within that, that, uh, that testing or training data set. So what we do is we take a holdout sample that we don't expose the model to until we're actually ready to uh, test and make sure that it's able to provide um, accurate uh, classifications for that, uh, that data set. So the way that we've done that is um, we've identified some holdout values and when we're ready to test our model, we apply it to that uh, holdout data set. And for the topic model, it's going to identify um, for each one of these different phrases what topic group it falls into. Now, when we do that, some of those are going to be assigned to topic groups and some are going to be unassigned. So to do the validation, we have to do human coding on both of those. So on the unassigned, we want to make sure are the unassigned values truly unassigned? that they don't fall into the groups that they should be into. And for those that actually were assigned to a topic group, are those aligned with what a human would um, uh, basically assign them to? So with that data set, after we've applied it, we go into a validation activity. So we're gonna get a data set that has each one of the opinion phrases that were held out. We're gonna see what the computer coding was for each one of the different topic groups. And then for the unassigned group, we're gonna go through and identify, are these items a match? one way or the other. We're going to human code these. Um, are they truly unassigned? And for the values that are assigned, we're going to go through, and because this is a little bit more complicated, they're assigning, the models assigning them potentially to multiple groups. We're reviewing it as a human to see, are these actually aligned to those groups um, you know, as a percentage of the value, 33% to one group, you know, 33% to another group. And we just code them as yes or no to get them into binary classifications. When we're done doing that, we look at the, um, the results and we make sure that we have a relatively high alignment from the human coding to that holdout sample. Our goal is about 80% or above. And you can see in the assigned group, we have about an 84% match from the human uh, coding to the holdout sample that was um, uh, identified through the model. And then for the unassigned group that they truly were unassigned, we have about 86%. Um, alignment. Both of those um, are aligned to previous uh, research studies um, identifying uh, inter-rater reliability between multiple coders.